My name is Dwayne Crawford and I'm the Fiber Product Line Manager here at Belden. Today we're going to talk about field termination solutions that will help make your life faster, easier and better. So what is a splicing cassette you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. It's a cassette that's going to go inside a patch panel, a very simple patch panel, it lets us actually reduce the complexity of the patch panel. And what it's going to do is provide you adapters in the front that will allow you to manage your slack inside the cassette as well as hold your splice holder. If you're using mechanical splice methods like the Brilliance connector, you can actually forego the splice holders and just do the termination right on the back of the panel you'll still be able to manage your slack internally and have a jacketed cable come in from the outside. So that is what will allow us to greatly simplify the complexity of a patch panel. As you can see, splice cassettes are available for MPO, LC, SC, and ST in varying port counts and fiber grades. So my first step, I'm gonna make sure my splicer is set up to splice one fiber and I'm going to set the shrink tube to 40 millimeters because that's the shrink tube I'm going to use. So I'm just going to go in in the menu, select the correct uh, fiber grade and type. Okay, so that's ready to set up. My next step, I'm going to want to prepare my fiber. So I need to prepare both my trunk and my pigtail. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a small cut in the jacket to expose the rip cord. So now I can, with the, the rip cord exposed, I'm going to use my Kevlar shears and I'm going to wrap it around to save my fingers and I can tear the jacket of the, the cable. Now I'm going to want to go and tear 25 inches of jacket. Cut the jacket off, be careful not to cut the fiber. And I'm going to want to remove all the Kevlar at this point. So now that we've prepared the cable, We've removed about 23 inches of jacket on the trunk side and we've cut our pigtails down to about 25 inches. We're ready to start installing. First thing we're going to want to do is secure the trunk cable inside the splice cassette. So I'm going to use a zip tie. I'm going to feed that through the rear of the cassette. And then from there, simply secure the jacket to the back of the cassette. This is going to keep things nice and stable as we continue to work. What you're also going to notice is the back of the cassette, there is a D-ring. So you can use something like a bungee cord and hook it to the back of this D-ring and hang it off a patch panel if you're working in a rack or in a higher space. This will help keep the, the, uh, the cable and the cassette secure while you're working with the splicer. So the other thing you're going to notice is the picnic table inside the splice cassette. So there's an upper level and a lower level for the uh, splice chips. So what we're going to want to do is remove the upper level because we're installing the first 12 fibers. We're going to put those in the lower level. I'm going to set that aside until later. So using a standard AB method, I want to start from the bottom and I want to work my way up. So that means that bottom one on the first adapter, that's going to be the brown fiber. So I'm going to want to find the brown. Since this is a 24 fiber cable, I have two brown fibers. One of these brown fibers has a stripe on it. So I want to make sure that I'm not starting with that one. So the, the brown fiber with the 24 stripe, that's for the second set of 12. So I'm going to take that first brown fiber and I'm just going to lay it inside my cassette. I'm going to put it through the manager and I'm going to make sure that it is actually cut to length and it's the appropriate length and it's falling in the splice bridge. It's about centered. So now I can prep it. My first step, we're going to strip. I'm going to remove about three quarters of an inch of buffer in small steps. Then using the small notch, I'm going to remove the primary coating. I want to make sure that I keep my stripper perpendicular to my fiber. I don't want to go on an angle or I may damage the glass. Then I'm going to use an alcohol wipe. Remove any residue that may be on the fiber still. It should be squeaky clean. From there, because of the setup I have, I'm going to take the left side holder for my splice. Uh, splicer. There is a left and a right side, so we want to be careful about that. I'm going to simply lay the fiber into the groove, slide it up to the front, and close the magnetic latch. I want to make sure that the fiber is actually in the groove, so I may need to adjust it. Once it's in the groove, I can take the precision cleaver from my Brilliance kit, and I can take that fiber holder, lay it right in my cleaver, make sure the fiber's flat on both sides, that my cleaver's activated, and 
I can go ahead and cleave the fiber. From here, I'm just gonna simply open up our splicer and we're gonna put the splice, we're gonna put the fiber in. Making sure it's in the appropriate groove. So now, we're ready to prepare our pigtail. So I'm gonna again, take my brown fiber, move my dust cap, and we're gonna check for length. There is only one way I can wrap this around. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I do at least one loop in my slack manager. And in this case, I'm gonna to have to trim it. I wanna make sure that that fiber is nice and loose in the slack manager and that we're not putting any tension on. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I install my shrink tube before we do our splice. So we're gonna slide this over the end. From here, I can now prepare my fiber just as I did on the other side. I'm gonna to wanna to remove about three quarters of an inch of the buffer. I'm gonna to wanna to take very small sections. We're gonna take little nips at a time just so we don't break the fiber. Then I'm gonna use the small hole on my stripper and I'm gonna remove that primary coating. Again, following up with a cleaning, making sure I remove any residue and that it is squeaky clean. I can then take the prepared fiber, install it in the holders, making sure it is firmly in the groove, cock the cleaver, and I can go ahead and I can cleave the fiber. So now we're ready to splice. Once I have it installed in my splicer, just adjust a little so we're not putting tension on the fiber, close the lid, and we're gonna hit the start button and wait for the splicer to work its magic. So we got a great sound there. We have a very good splice. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open my oven to be able to put my shrink tube on. I'm gonna open my splicer. Remove the covers. I'm gonna have to be very careful with my splice at this point, because it's gonna be very fragile until we get that shrink tube on. So I wanna keep some tension on it as I Feed that, that shrink tube over it. Slide the shrink tube over, keeping some tension on the fiber. Center my splice in my tube and close the oven. And we're gonna wait for it to splice. Or shrink, I should say. We're gonna wait for it to shrink. So our uh, splicer has beeped at us now, telling us that the shrinking operation has completed. So we're just gonna simply open the oven make sure that we have a good shrink. So from here, we can now place our fiber into the splice cassette. Be careful that shrink might be hot. So I usually find it easiest at this point to remove the fiber. And we're simply gonna place it in and connect in the bottom adapter. Now remember, before we use this port, we, stu we still need to clean and inspect. Now we can move on to the next fiber, the green fiber. Okay, so let's check in at this point. Right now, I'm 12 fibers in. I'm about halfway through and it's taking me about 36 minutes. So we're averaging about three minutes of fiber at this point to get this. So I'm gonna finish this off and we're gonna see how long it's gonna take and how we're looking when we get it complete. But as you can see, it's a fairly simple, straightforward process, very easy to achieve nice, clean routing. So this is what I wanna do. I wanna challenge you guys. You guys are much better at this than I am. You do this every day, I sit behind a desk. So it took me 36 minutes to do 12 fiber, fibers. So here's what I'm offering. I'm gonna say, I'll give you a splice cassette, I'll give you a pigtail kit, and a 12 fiber distribution cable. And I'm gonna ask you to sit down and go through this process and see how long it takes you to do it. So I look forward to hearing from you and I'm gonna continue, finish this off and I'll let you know uh, how this goes. So there we have it, I've completed 24 splices and it looks like we're coming in in about an hour and five minutes. So we picked up the pace a little bit in the second half. So I can now simply just put my lid on my splice cassette and we're ready to go. Thank you.